Hey, welcome to a weekly reading vlog. Guess what we're reading today? It's no surprise, girl. You saw the thumbnail. Um, Crown of Midnight. I'm stoked to read this. I already started it today and I was like, I can't get too far in because I have to start the vlog. I want to say, if you are not subscribed to me and you are enjoying watching this content, all of this Sarah J Mass content, please hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna be reading every single series and all of my vlogs are going to contain these books. So let's do that first. Second of all, this is gonna be a spoiler reading vlog. These books have been out for like 10 years and I want to give you my real-time thoughts. I want to discuss this as if we are reading it together back and forth, buddy reading, you talking to me, me talking to you, okay? I want to give you my real-time emotions, reactions, all of the discussion. I'm going to be talking about all of it. So if you haven't read this yet, this is going to be a little bit of a spoiler for you then. I don't even know what my predictions are for this book. I don't know what the plot's gonna be. All I care about is the romance. Um, I mean, that's not all I care about, but I really deeply do care about it. I really hope we get development with her and Kale in this book because I would love that tension. I would love that tension. There's already miscommunication going on with Dorian where Dorian's like, does she even remember me? Does she even like, did she even care about me to begin with? He's already questioning everything, which I'm obsessed with. I'm loving how complicated it is. I'm loving the miscommunication. I don't want anything easy for these boys, okay? I want them to struggle. I want them to pine for her. Her. I want them to be groveling at her feet because she is a badass. I'm just hoping that's what we're gonna get, okay? You know what? Who knows? If we throw a third man into here, I will be so over the moon. I will give this book 45 stars, okay? Literally can't wait to get into this. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and yeah, I don't have any thoughts yet other than I just want there to be so much complication in this romance that you don't even know where you are. You don't know how to get out of it. All right, Ray just got home, so I'm gonna start reading this and help him unpack. Okay, bye! Hi, everyone. Time for a quick update on Crown of Midnight, or should I say Kale of Midnight, because SJM has totally flip-flopped me from Team Dorian to Team Kale. Um, we're getting the spice with Kale now. I am, well, not the spice yet, but like the little glances and the little like nudges and the little secretive, oh. Oh, he put her hand on her back and guided her through the court. Like, Girl, don't get me started. I think I've switched teams and that was totally intentional on Sarah J Mass's part. She was like, we need to explore more of this kale man, lover, lumberjack. I'm picturing him as a lumberjack, okay? I'm here for it. I'm here for kale, okay? Let me explain what's happening. So I feel like I've had a little bit slower of a start to this book than I have had the first book. Uh, so right now, basically what happened is Selena has been dispatched to go and start killing people for the king. And basically she's asked to like kill quite a few people that are considered rebels to the king, even though the king has enslaved like literally every single person on the continent. And she is now asked to kill one of her friends or like accomplices from like when she was younger, from when she was like with Arabin and stuff like that. And she like had a big crush on this guy. I think his, his name is Archer. And I'm like, I'm really, really hoping that she seems to have like a big crush on him. And I'm like, another one? Yes, I love it. I'm loving the conflict. I'm loving how many different men and potentials there are. It's just, there's so many fish in the sea right now and I'm here for it. I'm so here for it. Yes, I, I will say it is, a, it is a slower start to the book though. It I literally haven't picked this up all week, but um, I'm really, really excited to get into this one today. Now she's being asked to kill people for the king and they're people that she's actually like knows and like people who actually are like not bad people. The king's just like power hungry and wants to kill everyone that's even a little bit threatening his power or he thinks that's threatening his power. It's honestly really rude. Yes, she is doing the king's work, not the lord's work. Actually, she is doing the lord's work because secretly she's actually not killing these people, which respect. So that's what's going on with Selena. And in terms of her love life, uh, her and Dorian not together at the moment, but she kind of still seems to have a little bit of feelings for him. But things are happening with Kale. She is spending all of her time with him and this friends to lovers, potential lovers, there's like little secret hidden 
things that she's feeling for him. She's getting a little tingly. She's getting a little fanny flutters going on for him. And I'm obsessed with it. So I like asked some of my friends on booktube who have already read these books to send me like non spoilery pictures of these characters like fanfic or like fan fan art and whatnot. They are not doing kale justice. Let me say all of the fan art they've sent one that has been very great and I totally appreciated and if I had my phone here I'd show you. I picture kale as just this like rugged lumberjack like big fit burly guy and all of the photos that they have sent are just clean shaven and he looks really young and I'm sure that he is actually really young but like not in my head. I'm in love with the character that I picture for him and I don't think that anything that he can do will change my mind about him right now. I'm so excited. I think he's gonna be a very big character throughout the series um, and I'm really really interested to see how it's gonna play out and I know people have polarizing opinions on him but I'm saying it right now. I stand him. I am in love with him and I don't know if I hope that they end up working out but I I hope that there's gonna be at least a little bit of push and pull with Selena, like literally and figuratively. <laughs> I want that for them. I want them to be romantically involved. Oh my gosh, wait, one other thing that I wanted to say while I'm listening to this. So I'm like reading and listening to the audio, right? And whoever is, I think her name's like Elizabeth Evans or something, her narration is incredible. We just met this kid character named Mort who's like this inanimate object that can talk, that is like part of the like lost magic that Elena had revealed herself in the first book to be a part of. But there's this like talking door handle, which I know sounds really strange, but like I kind of love it. And the accent that she uses for this character is like a New York accent. It is, it is unparalleled. Like the character's voice, this New York accent, he's like, my name is Mort, if you must know. Aren't you going to knock after all that? You truly have no manners. I mean, that's a pretty exaggerated version of it and I'm terrible at accents, but it is a very thick East Coast accent and I'm obsessed. I'm so glad that she actually made it like quite fun and this character is like just a fun time, just a little jovial little guy. I'm obsessed with him and I can't wait to learn more about him and the other magic going on in this land. Tonight or today, I'm gonna be doing sprints with Hannah's recent reads and Rachel from Raven Haired Reader and and possibly Cammie from Burroughs and Books. I'm not 100% sure who's all gonna be on these sprints, but we're all gonna be vibing and having a great time this afternoon on Hannah's channel. Um, and I'm gonna repot some plants and listen to the audiobook. And then I'm gonna hang out with my friends later tonight. Definitely will be listening to the audiobook um, while I'm doing my chores and repotting plants and stuff like that. So let's keep reading. Time to get more of this kale spice. Hello everyone, time for an update. Okay, I am, don't even know how far I am. I've been listening to it on audio pretty much all day. And the last like 45 minutes I've been listening to, I have to go back and re-listen to because it's now getting quite fantasy heavy. There's like a lot of like plot happening right now and I didn't comprehend what I just listened to. But one, a few parts that I did comprehend. Number one, Dorian, he let Selena go. He saw Kale was looking at Selena from across the room and he was like, I need to let her go. When like there was all this music playing and he like, had a little moment and he was like, I need to let her go. And my heart sank. Can we talk about Kale for a second? Little bit upset with him. He is being a little, I don't even know the word I'm looking for. He's being rude, okay? Can he not? He's being way too overprotective right now. Like back off buddy, she can take care of herself. She doesn't need no man. She has proven this. He's being really annoying. Like I'm, I'm upset. I am going through it with him right now. So interested to see where it's gonna go. But like it, it gives me peace knowing Selena is still in it with him. Like she still exhibits feelings for him, which I appreciate, but like, man, like just let her do her thing. She's fine. She literally just had this whole scene where she ended up killing someone that she wasn't intentionally gonna kill, like purposefully. And she got poisoned, but then she made it back. Our girl, she can fend for herself. Kale, calm the F down. Pipe down, man. Yeah, I need to go back and re-listen to what's happened. Stuff is happening right now with like the magic and the fae and like we're learning about all that stuff right now, but my brain did not follow exactly what had happened. So that's gonna be the next task. As far as overall feeling right now, I'm not feeling as 
hyped as I was when I was reading Throne of Glass. Like I'm feeling very, not middle of the road, but like I'm a little bit meh right now. I've heard it's gonna pick up, which is great, but I'm not losing interest. I'm just a little bit like, it was going so well and it was so great. But now I think we're just doing a lot more like plot setup and world building right now to maybe get to the end of the book, um, which I don't even know what's gonna happen. Basically what I know right now is Selena is being assigned to kill people and she's not killing people. And there's a lot of stuff that's happening with like rebel groups in Rifthold, which is like the main city that it's set in. So yeah, that's where we're at. I just, Kale back off. Like stop being rude. He's just, he's too overprotective right now and too overbearing and it's too much. It's too much. Yeah, my heart did sink when Dorian let her go. Ugh. I mean, she was being like a little standoffish to him. So I understand from his point of view why he had to. If you love something, set it free. He did that. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. All right, I'm going to be done. And I'll update you when I actually figure out what's going on. Bye. One other thing I forgot to say really quick that I can't forget to say. Um, Sarah J. Mass her unit of time is in heartbeats. Literally every sentence is like the next heartbeat this happened and then it wasn't even a heartbeat away and then this happened and like she couldn't even look at him for one heartbeat and I'm like that's enough I mean I'm okay with it but I let it pass but it's getting to me it's getting to me just a little bit and then also people continue to let out breasts that they didn't know they were holding so just just two little just two little things that I'm not loving but I'm just letting it slide you know I'm letting it slide. I'm going back and rereading what I missed and I'm glad I'm rereading it because it's actually really important. Basically, there are hidden passages within the castle that Selena is discovering. And then there's like a lot of like stuff with the Fae that is, she is discovering like on paintings on the wall and stuff like that. I personally believe Selena is Fae. And I'm questioning, is Dorian Fae? Cause I'd be, I'm back to team Dorian. <laughs> Why do I keep switching? That's where I'm at. Um, I'm all over the board and I love it. Okay, I'm gonna keep reading and I'm gonna hang out with my friends tonight. And then, yeah, also sprints were awesome. Ugh, I love my friends. They're so great. Peace, bye. Date. Kale just asked Selena to dance with her. She's supposed to be watching guard for Holland's like welcome ball or something along those lines. And Kale caught her in the garden dancing by herself and he was like, dance with me. Why am I back to being a simp for him? I I can't. <laughs> I'm I'm back to the point where I had reread everything that I'm miss kind of or just didn't pay enough attention to still kind of confused on the magic of the world it is a little bit confusing like her and nehemia went down to the tomb and they're like trying to figure out something with the eye and they're i don't know something along those lines big 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 energy that selena is fey considering the fey were from terrison so and selena was from terrison and i'm guessing that like i don't know her parents died because they were fey and then she was sent off. I'm literally picturing her just being like a baby Moses basket being sent down the river and then Arab and Hamel finds her. That's as far as I'm at. I just wanted to give that update that I'm not tiptoeing back into kale territory. We'll see where it goes.
The rest of the world quieted into nothing. In that moment, after 10 long years, Selena looked at Kale and realized she was home. I don't know about you, but it's pretty telling that Kale is the interest here. Can we, he just not be overprotective? Like, just, just let Selena be. Stop being annoying. Literally, listen, she knew his every move and he knew hers as though they had been dancing this waltz together all their lives. What do we do with this information? What do we do with this information? I don't know how to feel. Characters, yes, characters should be flawed because no one's perfect, right? But can he just not be overbearing? Can he just let her go and let her do her thing without being like, where are you at all times? Okay, bye. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm back with an update. Um, I'm literally like three pages ahead of where I was with my last update. So you're getting my thoughts real time as I am reading. Here's where we're at. Dorian just stood up to his father to be like defending the slaves in the work camps and he's like trying to not have more work camps be made. Basically he stood up to his father and he like stormed out of this meeting, walking, 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 and he punches a wall and the wall literally breaks and he is untouched. He didn't break his hand. So clearly something's going on with Dorian. If I remember correctly from book one, him and his brother do not look alike and the brother looks just like the dad but Dorian does not look like his parents at all or like maybe he looks like his mom or something like that but they did not look like they were related. So I'm guessing Dorian's real father is Faye and he's part Faye. That's my best guess and Dorian and Selena are meant to be together and that's where it's going. I'm not a Kale stan at this mo very moment. Maybe I might be in a few pages, but not right now. He's being not great. Can he just not? Like, I was literally rooting for you, man. I was rooting for you and you just let me down. So disappointing. He is being so rude and overprotective. Back off. Stop with your comments. They're too much. So we're back to Team Dorian. Where's it gonna go? How is it gonna come back? I'm loving this journey. I'm just loving it. I love how I'm flip-flopping every two pages. It's great. But that was the update. We'll report back with more updates. Bye. I'm feeling like a little bit of a tortured soul right now going back and forth between Kale and Dorian. Again, I'm three pages past I was in the last update, but damn, Sarah J Mass knows how to get me. Literally, ugh. Kale kind of sucks right now, but then he's just like, Selena like touched his face or something as he was sleeping. And then he goes, after she left, his heart had been pounding so hard it took him an hour to calm down enough to actually fall asleep. He wants her, he wants her. And I think she wants him too, so I... <laughs> Nothing's fine, I'm torn. How am I supposed to feel? I'm loving this. I'm loving this pain right now that I'm ex like that I am feeling. Like I just I feel so connected to these characters right now. <laughs> Gonna keep going. <laughs> when I tell you I raced home to tell you what was happening, legit no joke. I almost got in a car crash, but I'm fine and I didn't. So I read this a little bit on my lunch break. Do you want to know what just happened? Do you want to know what just happened? I literally read two pages, two pages on my lunch break. And it was so dramatic. I, <laughs> I couldn't think about anything else for the rest of the day. Let's just set the scene, okay? Kale and uh, Selena are out to dinner for Kale's birthday. If you've read it, you know what happens next. They kissed, they kissed and then they slept together. Like what, what, what? I was not okay. To tell you that I was unwell was an understatement. I was literally sitting at work, eating my lunch, silently texting all of my friends, being like, oh my God, what does, what, what WTF just happened? Oh my God, I, can't, I couldn't process it. And then I had to continue working like nothing happened, okay? My world just shattered and I'm sitting here doing work still. It was torturous to say the least. I don't know how I feel about this. Like, I don't know. Selena's so into it, so I want to be there for her. But at the same time, I'm like, he's been exhibiting toxic behavior that I don't approve of. Ugh. I just want to read this the whole night. I don't want to do anything else but read this book. 
I am unwell. Uh, what is this series doing to me? I'm not okay. I literally can't, be I can't believe they kissed and then they slept together. I can't believe it. I mean, it sounds like it was pretty good, but what? Also, he's like, I will go to the ends of the earth for you. And I'm like, oh my God, please just, I, uh, <laughs> It's sweet, but he's overbearing and it's too much. I don't know if anyone cares about this as much as I care about this right now, but I need you to know that I needed to talk to you right away, immediately after this happened. <sighs> Girl, what is this series doing to me? Okay, I'm gonna keep reading because I need to know the rest of what's gonna happen in this book. Okay, bye. This represents my day. <laughs> Not only my personal life, but what the fork, Sarah J. Mass? What the fork? Guess what happened? Nehemia died. A brutal death. And I'm not okay. What? Why? Why, 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 why? I, first of all, was reading this at work again and then this happened and I had no one to talk to and I was silent in my grief. So brutal. Sarah J. Mass, why did you do this to me? I am unwell unwell and then the fact that kale knew about the potential threat to nehemia's life not okay and selena is now team not kale which i must say i'm loving how it's not just the romance is not just obviously one person it's it's very all over the place which i'm really really loving and i'm just so glad that i'm like that is the premise of the romance in this book because it's keeping me very intrigued but like right now okay i probably have like 140 pages left or like 150 140 pages left it is all plot. Like we are just getting plot, 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 set up, set up, set up. It's all going down right now. I'm very, very, very intrigued. Like Dorian has questionable magic. Like there's a lot of like political drama happening in the continent. Selena is pissed and is tearing up the town with her anger. She has no lover at the moment. Kale is left in the dirt and I'm here for it. Oh my God, I need to know what happens right now and I need to get to Air of Fire. I literally can't wait to keep reading this whole series. All I've wanted to do all week is just read this book and I'm so freaking busy in my personal life that I can't and I'm just like, oh! Like I want to be able to sit and physically read this book because I'm enjoying it so much and I feel like I just want to enjoy the experience of reading it, you know? But I'm having to listen to it on audio like at work or while I'm driving to work, to work or you know, just like out and about. And not that there's a problem with that, I just wanna fully focus my all of my energy on it, you know, because it's so good and I just wanna absorb it. And <sighs> why didn't he me a time? Why, God, why? She was our key to it all. She was the key to everything. And also Selena's BFF. Honestly, rude. Rude, Sarah J Mass. You tore my heart out. Now I have to go pick it up and bring it back to someone. Okay, that's where I'm at. I wish I could say I could finish this tonight, but I probably won't because I have to go work out and then I have to edit a video. <laughs> Guys, my life is just never ending, oh my God. One more thing I forgot to mention. I, I can't with the heartbeats. Oh my God, it's like every other second. She looked at Kale for one heartbeat and not a heartbeat later, she started running. It's just like constant heartbeats. I just I literally, I can't with it. I'm just like, please use a different word for like a small amount of time. I am sick of the heartbeats measurement. One heartbeat later, it's so annoying. It is so annoying. Okay, bye. Hi everyone, sorry for the strange lighting. What? Whatever. I just wanna give an update. I am doing reading sprints tonight with my besties, Hannah and Rachel. We are having a time. And guess who is reading the last 100 pages of Crown of Midnight? Me. Me. Can't wait. Apparently it's gonna be a great time. They were both hyping me up, saying it's gonna be like an insane last 100 pages. So I can't wait. And I'm gonna bring you on this journey with me. And I probably will update you with the vlog every two pages. Like I have been literally this whole vlog. So let's go for a ride.
I changed and um, meaning a little ice cream cone. This is getting so good, so good, so good. So basically, Selena like opened this underworld underneath the library and there was like this creature down there and then she like ran away from it and then Dorian came and like kind of rescued her and they like stopped the creature together. Number one, all of the things that are happening in the plot are top tier, incredible, absolutely loving it. I'm really, really intrigued. I literally can't wait to read the rest of this book. Number two, the fact she's, that she's going through this with Dorian right now is incredible, love it. I'm here for it, I stand once again. I think I'm team Dorian for life. I have really gone back and forth throughout this whole vlog, but I think that's where my true ally stands. Ooh, I don't know, can't wait to keep reading, can't wait to figure out what's gonna happen. Like, magic is happening, literally magic is happening. It's amazing, gonna keep reading. Number one, can, can we take a second? <sighs> that was rough, that was a little bit of a rough time there. Nehemia she came back and it was rough emotionally for me guess what though archer just went down went down went down obsessed 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 okay i'm gonna keep reading Bye, buddy.
you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Okay, first of all, first of all, first of all, um, my stupid memory card ran out of storage. So I don't know if I got the last parts of my reaction at the very end, but I'm gonna go back and I will have put it in the, from the stream into the video, okay? So I hope you got that. <sighs> Second of all, <laughs> I knew it. I knew, I knew she was Aileen Galathinius. What a time to be alive. What a time to be alive. I knew it. Oh my God, Selena is Faye. She is the inheritance to Terrison. She's gonna freaking rise up and just slay all of the demons and the beasts and all of the bad people. I can't wait for it. And now she is off to Wendelin. And what is gonna happen? What is gonna happen with Kale? What is gonna happen with Dorian? What is gonna happen with the freaking continent and like all of the slaves and shit? And like, is she gonna die over there? And like, first of all, also one thing I don't understand, I think I need to go back and read why Kale brought that up to like send her to Wendelin. I didn't really understand no wait that's a lie I understand because she's gonna go be with the Fae because she is Fae and she's gonna go like learn Fae powers and whatever and like be with her people <laughs> also Kale was like I love you and then just like sent her off and like she didn't say I love you back what does that even mean all of the tea all of the tea all of the tea you I don't think you understand how much this this is the being the best series ever. Also, sorry, I don't even know what's going on here. I'm in my pajamas. I am obsessed with the series. It is so good. Literally every single scene is fire. I am just loving every second of this reading experience. I literally can't wait to go back and read the whole thing again. I knew it. I knew it. I knew she was Aileen Galifianakis, I knew it. Also like Doreen with the magic, I'm dead. I'm dead, this is so good. Okay, also I, I, I feel like I'm gonna give it five stars. I don't know what other rating I would give it. I'm gonna sleep on it, but I think it's a five star. I mean, that ending was freaking epic. It was so good. I can't wait, I can't wait for Air of Fire. It's gonna be it's going to be 20 billion out of 10. Okay, I am going to go to bed. I will give you a final update tomorrow. And also, this is what I've decided. I am going to do one vlog for each book because I'm going to be re buddy reading uh, Magnolia Parks with a bunch of our friends this weekend. And I need like just literally a one book, just a one book in between before I move on because I just need to like do a little bit of a cleansing palette and then we'll move on to the next one. Baby, I'm loving it. Baby, I am here for this. I'm so excited. I can't keep, wait to keep reading. It's going to be so, so epic. See you in the next clip. Bye. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm back. Time to give my final thoughts on Crown of Midnight. It has been like two or three days since I finished this book. I have let it sit with my soul for a hot minute. And now I'm here to give my final rating. Okay, number one, that ending. Epic. Epic freaking ending. That was incredible, I will say. I had a feeling in my soul that that reveal was going to be what it was. It was everything. I'm so, so, so excited. For the next one, I don't know where we're gonna go, like I said, with this this love triangle that we have going on. How is that gonna play out when Selena is halfway across the world? I don't know. But regardless, I know some of you are gonna be a little bit upset when you hear this rating, but I think I have to stand with it. My rating, I'm gonna do a 4.25. And I know I technically cannot do that. I can do it, it's just Goodreads won't allow me to do it. I'm gonna do a 4.25 and here's my justification. The first 100 pages were very slow for me. Like I was not reaching for this book. I wasn't like, I wasn't flying through it. I wasn't immediately sucked in like I was a throne of glass, which I have rated an official five stars. I went back and read that rating. But this one, it was a very, very slow start for me. Finally, I feel like it picked up probably around page like 150, 200. Like it took me a while to actually get really invested in like what the plot was going on in here. But the ending was like 10 out of 10, epic, everything I ever wanted and more, amazing, incredible, all of the above. I loved it. I loved, loved, loved the ending. As I was reading it, I was gonna feel, I was feeling like a four star, but then the ending was like incredible, amazing. 
I guess, okay, yeah, 4.25. Now that I sit with it, I'm not getting the five star feels like I did when I sat with Throne of Glass. You know, like when I sat with Throne of Glass, I was like, oh my God, I have to give that five stars. That was just so good. And I mean, this was so good as well, but I'm pulling the rating back for the for the beginning because it was so slow. I am so excited to get into Air of Fire. I'm gonna be doing a separate reading vlog for that as well. You know what, we're just doing a different reading vlog for each book. That's the way it's gonna go. I'm a slow reader, so that's that's just what's gonna happen. So that is the end of this vlog. If you've enjoyed this video, please, please feel free to subscribe to keep in touch with the rest of my content for the Throne of Glass series. I will be doing a reading vlog for every single book. If you really like, like this, please hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Hope you are doing really well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.